Hello students, welcome to Physics Dwala. Today I am going to talk about uh, one of the most uh, prestigious institutes entrance test that is ISI exam. Okay. So, ISI has two courses offered for undergraduate program. One is B Math and one other is B Stat. Since we do not know much about statistics in class 11 and 12 level, so we uh, ISI also do not ask you much about uh, statistical concept in the exam. However, uh, there are the exam entrance exam they have conducted so far has a uh, standard test pattern which is very important to know before appearing for the exam. This is actually for the students who are very interested in mathematics and statistics and have a love for these subjects. All right. So, today I am going to talk about how ISI is going to conduct the exam, what are the procedure and what type of concept and questions that are been asked in the exam and how do you need to prepare for this exam and what are the opportunities of this exam, where are the campus of ISI that has opened and the prospect and future after ISI entrance exam. Okay. So, I think that this video might be helpful to you because this uh, video will give you a lot of important import, uh, information accumulated together in some few minutes or in some minutes. All right. So, today let us start with uh, what are the ISI campuses that are present in India. You know that ISI has been established by Prasanta Chandra Mahalanavis uh, in Kolkata. So, Kolkata is the headquarter of ISI and then there are some campuses or some branches that Kolkata opened for many opportunities across the in, across India for many interested candidates. That is Kolkata, Delhi, Bang Bangalore, Tejpur, Giridi and Chennai. Giridi is a uh, place in, situated in Maharashtra and all the other cities do we know, Tejpur is in Assam. So, today I am going to talk about that why does student prefer ISI? This exam actually ISI is a very underdog institution in India because it is a hidden gem. People often do not know about what ISI is all about and uh, why ISI is so popular across the globe and how does it maintain its standard. Since we do not have much exposure to the ISI exam, so people often tend to you know do not uh, focus on this kind of exam because it is also one of the toughest exam. So, ISI is arguably one of the best institute across the globe as I have mentioned before. Huge placement opportunities after your BMAT or BSTAT program, highest prospect, high prospect research career because those people who are interested particularly devote themselves in maths and statistics, they prefer this institute over any other. Even those students who has a very uh, big interest for mathematics and statistics, they do not go for the uh, IIT. They prefer ISI over IIT because it is pure academia. Academia means the people who want to stay uh, them, uh, inside the academic world, not a job market oriented thing. Although you have a big placement opportunity in ISI once you studied in ISI, all right. So, you know and also one of the important topic that is can represent and help your country to go to another level that is i will am going, going to explore this topic a uh, little bit later but yeah and value in the world once you are pass out from isi you have a very weak value in the world or people will think about you as a one of the best mathematical mind or statistical mind in in the globe all right so now uh, let's find out what are the exam pattern in isi that has been conducted so far isi has basically two test Okay, and one is MCQ test and another is subjective test, another is subjective test. MCQ there are 30 questions, each question carries 4 marks and total marks is 120 as you have understand. Once you done the correct answer, then you are awarded as 4 and if you are uh, unattempted, unattempted, unattempted means you are getting 1 and uh, wrong that means you are getting 0. First time there is a one MCQ test or in the uh, probably in India or in the world where you do not have any negative marking all right. So, if you are doing it correct then you are getting 4. If you are not attempting it at all then you are getting 1 and you are getting it wrong all the way then you are getting 0 and there are 30 questions since if one person does not attend any question he gets 30. But unfortunately, the cutoff is little higher than 30. So, you need to attend some question. All right. And subjective part, there are 8 questions. Each question carries 10 marks and part marking is allowed. Part marking is allowed. Okay. So, this means you need to uh, 
basically go for some step even if you are not solving the entire question uh, totally so but you can go for some of the uh, some parts of the question and get some marks or get some award uh, for your hard work that you reflected in your paper all right so now uh, the generally i will discuss about the cut off mark and uh, interview round and all those so the first paper that is just basically you know you have to pass in that paper to go for the second paper because once you are uh, getting or you are acquiring the below cut off mark in the paper a uh, then you are not going your paper will not be checked in the paper b hence you need to uh, get above the cut off mark which is around 40 around 40 marks you need to get uh, to qualify for the second paper and second paper cut off mark is 30 only generally this is depends on year 2 or even you know that once uh, the exam is conducted then year wise it will be uh, changing right but this is actually a, a median of the cut off marks every year that i say reflects so people who are actually solving like five questions they are getting 5 into 20 uh, 5 into 4 that is 20 and then uh, probably 25 question you already left so that means you are getting 25 so that means you can get 45 right so if you are even solving four questions also 4 into 4 16 and 26 questions you are leaving so that means 26 so 42 if you are if you can do four question right then also you are getting and two hours paper is so you have ample amount of time to solve those paper and the paper level is iit advanced level iit advanced and olympiad level olympiad level i would say because this olympiad level they are giving you the number theory questions which is actually are asked often in olympiad right same syllabus just only inclusion of the number theory and little bit of euclidean geometry that has been asked very less however that number theory is very important people uh, isi is always asking from this part every now and then so this is the ones who are preparing for the advanced level but question is little harder than advanced not easier than advanced but if you can get the flavor of the question you might be able to solve the entire question within a blink but that depends of your mathematical skill and you have acquired in your 11 12 grade so far all right so now this is the first two round once you qualify this round you will be asked for the appear for the interview and you have to actually uh, you know perform well in the interview they uh, you, you know professors do not uh, ask you to qualify or answer everything in the interview but rather they would ask you or they will judge you what the line of thinking you have or what are the mathematical concepts that you have gained in 11 12 level and because they are sitting there to select some extraordinary mind from uh, the country right so you need to be prepared well equipped for the interview in a conceptual length not a very mechanical or a mathematical solving skill level all right so but interview is exempted for those who are a inmo qualified students because once you are qualified for the olympiad i say actually give you preference so your interview round is exempted all right but you uh, need to qualify these first two papers in order to you know get an entry into isi or one of the premier institutes in india so now let us talk about stipend and fees, ISI has very very nominal fees because government allotted almost 320 crore or 22 crore per annum, uh, I am not sure about the figure but it is around 322 crore. So it is a government affiliated institution and it has the power to give you the degree because it is under Indian Association of Universities and fees is very nominal, hostel fee is 300 rupees and once you get an entry in the ISI level you have 5000 rupees stipend per month, 5000 rupees stipend per month every students are getting that so think about that where government wants you to study in that institution do your research and government will pay you the money how interesting is that isn't it so now and also you are getting 20000 every year 20000 every year as a contingency fund every year to buy the book or any electronic gadgets or anything that are related to your study you are always always welcome to purchase those is you will be allotted this money also so once you are getting entry into your ISI, then your life is all set, right? So now next I will talk about the placement opportunities. What are the placement opportunities that are ISI offer? It is often a uh, very blunt, uh, you know, statement that I have made if, if I would say that ISI 100% students are getting placed because ISI does as maybe rebuilding the data if you pulled an RTI or so but people are not often interested what ISI give the placement opportunities but as far as the rumor goes that uh, generally uh, uh, like company offers often 20 lakhs to 50 lakhs and some people I have uh, probably heard that got a 90 lakhs package after the undergraduate program quite interesting and quite lucrative package uh, as far as I know but uh, in a in some year I think 2016 or 17 there are like 60 students and two students got dropped out uh, because they could not bear the course or something I don't know maybe their personal reason but 57 58 student out of 58 student 
57 students got placed and one student did not get placed. Only one student, maybe some of the other reason. But, but the interesting fact is that no one has selected the placement because they want to go for the higher studies or the pure academia because once you clear the ISI and the entire undergraduate program is completed, you are always welcome to go for a research in any Ivy League university across the globe like MIT or uh, Berkeley or uh, California Institute of Technology or uh, you know Florida State University, Pennsylvania State University and many more to come in any way. So people often uh, try to neglect those placement and go for the pure academia field because once you do the research there are many uh, many opportunities that will be knocking at your door. One of the them is Indian Statistical Service. You know that the cap cost, uh, government's allotment for the fund for agriculture or any kind of country's growth uh, so far that the statistician do the uh, research and put a budget to the government right so uh, people often and government always always try to pick up those mind who are getting uh, their degrees from their this premier institute like isi or cmi or imsc indian institute of mathematical science or iac in fact tifr is also one of them so now you have this opportunity and another opportunity that is very very interesting so far that i have known that the isi people are going to actually uh, do the job in UN, United Nations and you know that once you are research analyst in UN, your salary is 3 million or 4 million dollar which is in Indian currency near about 32 crore or 24 crore and so forth so on. So now the thing is that once you have devoted your research also, you do not need to be scientist or you will be poor like uh, being somewhere it is not the scenario right because uh, once you get this kind of research field and your mind is fully equipped with all mathematical knowledge and the best world's organization also ready to hire. Apart from that, there are some companies which are actually to the top consulting group like KPMG, BCG, Boston Consulting Group and Wipro, HDFC, banking sector and everything. People are coming to your door to take you because you are a pass out from ISI. Because people are actually in I IIT also if you go that you will not get such lucrative package or such a big companies at the very start. Right. Uh, Google Microsoft does not hire from here because they do not actually apply the uh, you know core mathematical brain to their company rather they have an application oriented part. But uh, if you can research a bit uh, like PwC, uh, Honest and Young, EY, all those are big auditing company who are actually recruiting and throw you the package that you want as per your choice and that is a very very few opportunities um, in the world also. Right. So now these are the placement opportunities. So if you want to get placed you can go or if you want to go for the research that also it is a choice for you. Now, next I will go for the books to follow. There is a one book called Tomato Book, Tomato Book that has been released by ISI and it contains all the previous year questions and as well as the type of question they are going to ask you, right. So, you can go for this book and if you can purchase it that is good and go for a study. May 12 is the exam. So, you have very less time to study. Uh, so, you try it. Those people who are taking the IIT advanced exam, they can actually appear for this because if you have the interest for mathematics and statistics. So, now I will go for that companies that has participated in the placement. This is the data released by uh, released by actually ISI Kolkata uh, uh, that is one of this this is an analytics part which is a market research they have done and you know this is a finance 15 percent banking sector 16 percent R&D 13 percent software 16 percent and this is also accolades that is 12 percent. So almost they have done a beautiful research and segmented how the placement has been uh, done so far in ISI across all the centers in India right. So there is a huge huge you know and everywhere you saw that as an analyst position there is a always prefer for the ISI candidates right. So now these are the all about ISI exam I have told you and 12th May is the exam date. So why not to try if you are interested in mathematics and if you are really a good student participate in the exam get the flavor of mathematics and enjoy the exam over the top I would say enjoy the exam enjoy the process let us find out who can crack it. Thank you so much.